Hey, it's Gary Kitchens with One's One Game, and today we're going to open Hollow Cell from Lock and Load Publishing. We have one goal, victory. This is a uh, card-driven, uh, it's maybe just a straight-up card game for, uh, it's kind of weird. It says for two to six, and it does say solitaire playability is at a seven out of ten. Complexity is a five out of ten. All right. However, I don't know so much that there's no solo, solo rules in here, so we're going to experience this together. Uh, on BGG, it does say right now that the recommended number of players is one, and it says one to six. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to find out because it looks cool. Science fiction based card game. Get away from that fantasy, fantasy stuff and get more real. So let's dig in, find out what's in it. Did they say you can solo it? I'm sure you can solo it. So let's find out. So uh, we have chunky dice. Goodness gracious. Look at the size of those dice. I mean, those have got to be like. Three quarters of an inch. I have never seen a game include <laughs> that big of dice. They're firm. They don't feel like jokes. They are correctly laid out. And you get three more three green, three blue, four red, and they're clear. Or, or what is it, uh, translucent. So they're actually kind of cool. I like them. I like them a lot. So the cat in the hat, the fish in the pot. Cool. They're gonna work. They're rounded, but they're still kind of square because they're just so big. I don't know what's play. I just wasn't playing with these all day. These are rings at my dice top. Alright, let's put this up. There's 10 dice there. All right. Bag. So we've got vault cards. We've got some other cards. And we've got some mini cards. Which look like wounds. Maybe some weapons. So we'll go into those first, shall we? Like a damage deck. So maybe that's just why they're so small. All right. So there are wound cards. They got a med pack, but it looks like a video game controller. Okay, so yeah, since like other games where it's like you don't know how many wounds you get to draw a wound card. So zero wounds, one wounds, one wounds, two wounds, two wounds, two wounds, a bunch of twos and threes. Right, so that's obviously your wound deck. And then these are they're not they're not backed, so they must just apply the Different weapons and recharge you have for well, they all look the same. So find out more about those. As you read the rules. Graphics are really cool though. I do like those. Alright, so we have vault cards, which has no meaning to me right now at all. And we'll find out what is an Al Capone's vault to these. I don't know. Let's check that they all vault cards. They are all vault cards. Pretty decent quality. Slippy, so you probably want to slew them. Or not. They're not numbered. Alright, so this is an action. Discard this card to use one charge card from the available cash. Hollow cell cards may be combined to roll multiple dice if charges are available. May be used without an equipped weapon card. Okay, so these are. Bunch of these. Okay, this seems to be a common card. Then we've got some, it's a hollow cell. Then we've got concussion grenades. Concussion G. I'm a concussion G, man, don't mess with me. Knockout G's. And then we've got, so we got these. I love the artwork though. They're very moody. Very moody artwork, very cool. Alright, so we've got Thief, Sabotage, Stop Knife. 
These are all ball cards, so they're all in play, certainly. Run for it. Hologram. Play when an opponent rolls a hollow cell dice at you in an attack. Ignore dice rolled. Dice may not be re rolled. Sweet. Injections junk. Very cool. Man, these dice are awesome. Look at those dice. Love that blue. I just made it steal these and use them in some other games. Alright. Ball cards. Put those over here. And then we got these cards, which look like they may actually be vault cards, but there's also turnover cards attached to them too, so we'll rip the shrink on those, take a look. Let's go plastic. Okay, so those are turnover cards for all the players. Combat rules. Oh, these are different. No, these are vault. So the ones I saw there are vault, some more vault cards. Go ahead and put this with the others for now. Lasers. Smoking jackets. I mean, destroyer, interior. The Morta. Morta one. Okay. This, just playing these cards makes me want to play the game, and I don't even know how to play it yet. Sudden event. So we'll pick one at random here. Sudden event. Each player rolls one ration die and takes the results. I guess that's right. Ah, greens with the rations, right? We'll get six rations, lucky me. Okay. So we got events that can happen. What else we got going here? We got warriors. So these are different classes. I know there's several different classes to choose from. So let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, there's eighteen classes. So these are 18 different warriors that can fight. You know, the arsenal. His power is he may equip two weapons cards. He's immune to damaged weapon cards. The collector. You may equip two head and body items that are not duplicates. The, the elder. She has six life points instead of five. The eternal. Or killed by another player, will ration die. Successful. Instantly resurrect the eternal and the wound guards are discarded. Yeah. Don't like all that. Mumbo jumbo, but house rule it some other way. Mean to thief and sabotage cards, the hoarder, the mechanic, the munitions master, the remnant, the seer, the shield. These are from all over. These are supposed to be like multiple different types of races. The spy, the suit, the healer, the thief, the time traveler. He's gonna come up again later. Oh wow, I just travel in time. That's awesome. The trader. The treasurer and the twister. The treasure, the treasure. All right, and then what are these war engine guards? It seems like there's one for each player, maybe. It's fun to not know anything about a game and then try to break it down. But all the secrets will be revealed in the manual. Okay. Large print, very, very, very large print. Right? So the ration dies were blue. I was wrong. I thought they'd be green, like crops. Right? Examples. Additional ways to play two player duel. Some event cards got a little rules in here. How do you play solo? Team mode. Intensity mode. These are solo. I guess you just play against yourself. I guess it's not truly quite a solo mode. Unless I just missed it. Okay, so there is the rule book. Seems to be able to be pretty easy to get into play. And then now we've got the cash. Two sheets card stock. I mean, uh, double, double card stock, single sided. We've got vault cards, and we've got set event cards. This is your main game board, and I guess your players set up around it. Uh, char oh, charge cards, use your charge card. Uh, the charge card stack here, and that's how many come into play based on the number of players. So, so nothing about a one player. 
guess you're just gonna have to play two player team mode. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But this is all a sell from Lockham Mode Publishing. And you're gonna get a game board. You're gonna get a rule book. You're going to get 18 characters. You're gonna get six uh, journal combat rule charts, six war engine cards, charge cards. I got as soon as 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And those six players you use 10. You get some wing cards, a deck of wing cards, you get bulk cards. You get seven event cards. And you get awesomely cool translucent dice. Ooh. Let me see if I just want to play. I want to play Yahtzee. Anyway, that is what comes in the box. Hollow Cell, one goal victory. I'm not going to move for this Pick it up. I'll get the box closed. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye.